Hi everybody. I hope you're all doing okay at home. We're doing okay here. Today's workout, uh, we're going to do some ladder sets. So you'll need like a light set of weights because we're going to warm up with those. Then you're going to need a medium set of weights and then either one heavy weight or to the ability to add your light and medium together. Now, those of you that have been doing this a long time with me know that if you're not going heavy, you don't go heavy. If you're not going light, you don't go light. We modify everything we do. So today is going to be a check-in because we've really been out of routine for quite a while now. So when you go to pick up a weight, make sure you test it with whatever exercise we're doing before you really get into number eight, number nine, and number 10. Um, we are going to do a couple sets of hundreds. So if you're not going to do a hundred and you're going to do 50, you're going to do 25, make sure you stick to that. I don't want anybody injuring themselves at home because that would be terrible. Um, make sure you check with your medical professional before you start any movement program and go ahead and turn on your music, whatever it is that you choose and let's get moving. Hands on hips, heels come out first, toes rise as best we can. The belly button draws in to pull the guts in and protect that spine. And we breathe and we smile and we think about the things that are good amidst all the change. Inhale. Exhale. There we go. We're going to take those toes out to the side. Here we go. Toes and toes and toes and toes. Beautiful. So if you want to start adding arm work to this, you're more than welcome to. If you like where you are, stay there. But I'm going to dig a little deep here. I'm going to reach down into the earth. <sighs> Beautiful. Start pulling those elbows up as much as you can. Check in with the shoulders though. If the shoulders are squeaking, keep it small. Excellent. Then we're going to reach across, 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 across. Beautiful. Just to get the heart rate up. We don't necessarily want to pick up a weight unless the blood pressure is ready for it. So movement before we start lifting anything is usually the best idea for the body. Overhead, here we go, as long as your shoulders are ready. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. As they used to say in Jersey when I worked up there. Gorgeous. Breathing it. Three, three, two, two. One, one, both arms go through. Nice. Now, if your music is slower than mine, go slower. If you're a beat kind of person and you love to dance, you're going to have to go slower. All right, reach down and pull up, 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 up. Now, you guys know we're not all created equal. We're not all dancers. Your movements don't feel like this. <laughs> Just keep moving. If you need to march in place, march in place. We're about to take those heels out front. Here we go. And pull, pull. So you're trying to get those shoulder blades to kiss together in the back. That's right. Fight that dowager's hump. Bring it up. Ah, nice. Keep it up. Keep it up. Come on. Here we go. We got 10, 10, 9, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pull now, turn those arms up, march in place. And we're going to just start to make little bitty circles forward as if you were pedaling a cosmic bicycle through the universe. <laughs> That's right. Oh, look out for the stardust. Ah! The rings of Saturn. Whoa! Beautiful. Now pause the arms. The shoulders are starting to squeak. I get it. As long as there's no pain, we're going to go backwards. Here we go. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Keep it going. Start to feel that respiratory rate increase. It's a good thing. 
The more air we exchange, the more CO2 we push out of the system. Three, two, one. And take those arms up. Reach with one hand and then the other. Two more times, reach with one and then the other. Reach with one and then the other. Keep one hand up, one hand on the hip, lean it over. Beautiful, take that left toe out, left arm swings down, touch the toe, inhale into the back side of the body. Ah, that hand comes to the hip, the other arm rises, we lean over. Now if the first side didn't happen to be your left, don't worry about it. It just happened to be my left. Ah, that other foot comes out, we sweep down toward it. Now if you're not going to reach your toe in this lifetime, no judgment. Reach for the hip, reach for the quad, reach for the shin, reach there. One more big breath. Hand to hip, bring it in. Now we're going to grab up our light set of weights, unless you don't want any weights at all for this. And we're going to take the heels and we're going to kick them across the back. Now the big thing with picking up weights, um, it was explained to me once upon a time that when we squeeze weights because we forget, we're holding on, we're holding, I got them. Well, if I've already got carpal tunnel and I'm squeezing the nanny out of these weights, all I'm going to do is exacerbate a condition I already have. So I can just simply pin it in between two of my fingers, hold them really lightly, just to make sure I'm not going to drop them on my toes, but I don't want to squeeze unnecessarily. All right. Here we go, we got these heels going. We're gonna take the arms out slightly, shoulder blades together. Might feel a little weird like a duck, it's like tottering across a spring lawn. You might wanna quack. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna take these palms and these movements are only two or three inches. So you're gonna take these palms, press them up and lower them down. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now bring them a little closer out in front. Here we go again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Keep kicking if you can. Roll those palms down. Here we go. Little tiny lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, for a lot of us, it's time to put them down and just march in place. Swing those arms, make sure that the weights are swinging. But we got 40 more of these to go. So the knuckles come out wide, take them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, sweep them through and behind you, we're still going, sweep them behind. Now we've got the back side of the delt, the back side of that shoulder blade region, 20 of them. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now march it out. Let those arms relax. Start pumping those arms. Hopefully you've got a good song on. There we go. All right. Just swinging those shoulders out. So that was our first set of a hundred. <sighs> How does it feel? Oh, we can't be squeaking that bad yet unless we've been from 5k to couch. We're doing this in reverse. A lot of us. <laughs> All right. Swinging it out, marching it up. 
making sure that heart rate hasn't driven up too high for you. If it has, slow it down a little or put the weights down, but modify everything. Excellent. We got another 20 seconds right here. <sighs> Beautiful. And when we're done marching, we're going to move right back into the back side of that arm. <sighs> All right. Here we go. I'm going to turn sideways so you all can see what I'm doing. I'm going to plant my feet. I'm going to turn my palms down and back. Tailbone goes slightly back. I drop in. Oh yeah, we were just warming up. Okay. We got our set of hundreds right here. Ready? Little press up. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 80, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo! March it out, swing it out. Oh yeah. These little teeny tiny weights are going to tell stories on us if we've been relatively inactive. I know a lot of you are walkers. I commend you for keeping up with it. For those of you that are doing Zoom calls and Facebook Live and YouTube videos, just trying to keep at it. Yes! You know I love it. Find all the teachers out there that are spreading the love and just keep on trucking, people. Keep on trucking. All right. We're going to take those weights. We're going to put them down. We're going to grab some water and we're going to have ourselves a little little halftime show. There we go. It's a water break. If you're not feeling watery yet, I would like you guys to make sure that you are still getting your daily water requirements. It is really easy that when we lessen the amount of movement that we're doing every day to lessen the amount of water as well. Well, you know, I've been up all night long going. Then switch your schedule. Come on. We're all out of routine. We're all out of schedule. I totally understand. All right. We're going to come back in. We're going to gr grab up those light weights one more time. And we're going to get into the legs a little bit. I'm going to step slightly forward. I'm going to look like I'm coming at you. So we're just adding a little bit into the hands. We're going to practice these just by stepping back together, back together. Now, if yours happens to look like this, all right, no judgment. That's where we go. But if you want to really step back, and together, make sure you test it a few times first. And then if that doesn't seem like it's enough for you and you've got your light weights in your hands, you can take those weights, bring them out like you're riding your Harley in the middle of the summer. And then we're gonna take the right foot back, then the left foot back. Here we go. Right, together, left, together, right, together, left, together. I almost fell. Over. We're doing great. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Arms are getting tired. Thirteen. If you need to put them down, please do. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 
18, 19, 20. Let it go. Very nice. Step it out. Make sure we don't stop after we get the heart rate up that high. Don't need a vasovagal incident. There we go. Take a breath into all you know you, and everything you know and love. All right. We're ready to get back into those shoulders. Ooh, we got a little set here. We ready? It's gonna be good. All right, I'm gonna turn slightly so that you can kind of really see what I'm doing. Feet step wider than hips, little bend in the knees, belly button draws in. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Pause backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now bunk it out back, bring it down low. Here we go, 20 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, that's 60 backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, that's 80. Here we go. Stand it up. Overhead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And put them down. All right. I'm going to take my little tinies bring them over here. I'm going to grab up my medium size weights, my schmediums. I've got a pair of fives here. If you don't have this stuff at home, it's okay. We're all improvising these days. Um, we happen to be kind of a fitness household, so we have a lot of weights just hanging around. So my first set was a pair of threes. This is a set of fives. I've got a set of eights and I have a set of fifteens. If you have a set of soup cans and a set of old golf shoes, um, you know, use whatever you got. If you've got a stretchy band and that's all you've got, use a stretchy band. It's hard to do circles with, but you could certainly do bicep curls. You could certainly do tricep pushes. You could reach and push overhead, but you're with us in the community. Do what you need to do knowing we're not alone right now. All right. Okay. Shoulders up nice and high. We're going to take those hands, we're going to reach through the tips of the fingers forward so that we're not squeezing those weights to death. Take a breath. <sighs> Very nice. All right. I'm going to turn slightly at an angle so you can see what I'm doing again. I'm going to turn those palms backwards. I'm going to bend in. Now you can take a wide stance if you want to, but the weights might hit you in the side of the hips or the sides of the IT bands. So I'm going to keep my feet in. And then I'm going to roll my shoulder blades back and together and pull my belly button in. And then I've got singles to do. Okay. I'm going to lift and lift right and left. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three two, one. Now turn them in toward the side of the body, lift them and make little circles. These are going to be a little more than we think they are. They're concentrated, tiny little exercises. Circles. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. The other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Woo. Yes. A little different than they would seem, right? It's okay. All right. 
We're gonna take these hands, we're gonna push them forward like we're offering something, and then bring them back. Now, if you need to do singles, because this messes with your upper back or your mid back or something, do singles. If you need to lighten up, then lighten up. We're still just warming up the shoulders and then we're gonna get a little, we're gonna go into those ladder sets and get a little more serious. Cause we're so serious, right? <laughs> oh God. All right, so we're gonna push and pull. Here we go. Push, pull, that's one, two, three, four, five, light grip, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here we go, singles, right and left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bring it in, flip those palms, lift up and out, and then drop. This is the medial head of the deltoid. Here we go, three, four, five, six, four, three, two. Oh, they're squeaking. One, very nice, well done. All right, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it. I've been out of practice. I got used to our routine. <sighs> I love change. Just takes us right out of our comfort zones and shakes us a little bit and goes, what are you gonna do with that? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take my medium weights and put them in my chair. I'm going to take my light weights and put them in my chair. Then we're going to have a little bit of a water break. And after your water break, you're going to come back and we're going to do some ladders. Oh, and I'm going to grab what I consider to be a heavy weight and put it next to my chair. And I'm going to slide my chair a little closer to me, mostly so I don't go out of the camera. You guys can keep your stuff where you need to keep it. There we go. Water, 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 water. Water break done? We got it? All right. You know this is weird, right? <laughs> I'm pretending. I'm talking to all of the people I love. <laughs> and it's just this little box with a green light on it. <laughs> I love you guys. All right, so here we go. We're gonna grab up our light weights. We're gonna do a set of biceps. We're gonna do a set of triceps. And then we're gonna grab up our medium weights. We're gonna do biceps, triceps, and we're gonna grab our heavy weight, do some biceps, some triceps. Not complicated. If you wanna march at the same time while you do this, please do. Nice light grip. I got, mine was so light, I almost dropped it. But light grip, shoulder blades up and back, belly button tucks in, nice even weight in the feet, little bend in the knees. Guts pulled in to protect the bend in that spine. Here we go, roll it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, four, three, two, one. Now I'm going to turn it at an angle. I'm going to take my right foot. I'm going to press the heel back. I'm going to pull my elbows up and back, put my chest out nice and proud. I'm going to send both of these arms straight back. Here we go. One, two, three. We're trying to make that tricep region smile. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it in. Switch feet. Oh yeah, I love tricep exercises. It's paddling season. It's always stand up paddleboard season. All right, elbows back, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, and one. Step it together, put those down, grab up, Something that maybe is a medium, if you don't have it, 
Go right back to the weights that you did have, those soup cans, whatever you got going on. All right, we got our biceps to do. Shoulder blades together, even weight in the feet, heavy in the tailbone. Belly button draws in, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a three, a two, and a one. All right. Left foot forward, right foot back, elbows back, thumbs on your jet pack. Send those knuckles straight back. One, two, three. I want you to start feeling it. Really make sure you're contracting that muscle. Seven, eight, nine, 10, bring it together, step it, step it, lean it slightly, belly button draws in, send those knuckles back, here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hopefully you're feeling it, number 10, step it together, beautiful, put those down. All right, being very careful with your back if you have a heavy weight and you wanna go pick it up. If you're gonna stack two weights in one hand, you go crisscross applesauce and make sure that you're balanced well enough so that your wrist isn't straining. All right. Okie dokie, we're gonna step the left foot forward slightly and the right foot back. Shoulders are gonna come back, fingertips are gonna come forward, that elbow is gonna slide in by the hip, not so it can sit on the hip. I see this all the time in class. People sit there and they do like this. So then, what's happening to my spine? I'm so worried about looking like I'm doing the proper bicep technique that I'm now ignoring the rest of my body and I'm actually impinging nerves back here toward my SI joint. So if my weight is so heavy that I have to balance into my hip, I need to choose something else. All right, we're gonna go hammer grip on this one. So it's just a bicep curl like we were doing and we're just hammer grip Roll it up and in nice and slow. Here we go. One, two, beautiful, three, four, oh, five. I'm gonna start making squinchy faces. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. All right, so I just caught myself in my head. I used to be able to do this with 30s. Yeah, I used to do this with 30s. And now I don't. So, if that's something that bothers my ego space, then I can work toward doing 30s again. And if I'm at a point in my life where 30s are a bad idea, Maybe I should leave the 30s alone. So I've got 15s right now. But I know if I'm in my own head going, God, I used to be able to do this. I know you guys are out there doing the same thing. There's no judgment in this process. Our bodies are where they are today. All right. Gave you a little muscle break there. Here we go. We're going to roll that left hand up. Bring it up. Hammer grip. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, five, four, here comes the face, three, two, one, nice, step it together, bring it in. Okay, a couple of choices. If you have a heavy weight, we're gonna take it up and overhead. That's not appropriate for all shoulders though. So if you wanna lighten up to your medium, and go back to those tricep curls that we were doing, then you can do those. I guess they wouldn't be curls, they would be tricep presses. If you've got a heavy and you like it that way, we're gonna bend the knees. So here's our set of, we just did our biceps, we're gonna do our set of triceps, we're gonna push it up. Now, we're not gonna drop it back until it knocks us in the back of the head. We're simply gonna drop, hold those elbows in kind of close together, and then we're gonna press up. So this is a press up, not a drop down. Here we go, 10 of them. One, two, 
three, four, five, heavy in that tailbone, five, four, nice, three, two, last one, press it up, bring it down into the chest. Gorgeous. All right. We did our light. We did our medium. We did our heavy. Now we're going to adjust them a little bit. So pull your weights out of your chair. You're going to have one heavy. You're going to have your set of mediums. You're going to have your lights. Gorgeous. And then, oh, you're going to grab some water. And I'm going to see you back in this chair. Hmm, I bet it's going to look like I have big antlers. We started the mural. There's going to be big lotus hands down here at the bottom. This hand, I got a little wonky. I started running out of pencil lead and I got it a little funky. So there's going to be hands and then above it, there's going to be the universe. And then we're going to put a black light above it and there's going to be black light paint so that it glows. We're going to put glitter in it and we're going to embed crystals in it so that there's different, so it has a three dimensional shape and they're going to shine and glitter. And it's going to be cool <laughs> because really we don't just hold apples in our hands. We hold each other in our hands. Mm -hmm. Y'all know what I'm talking about. All right. If you want to use just one weight, you can just use one weight. We have a set of hundreds to do first. We love hundreds. And then, um, well, one set of each. And then we're going to go back into a ladder set. So walk your feet a little further together. Turn those palms up, shoulder blades back and together. Lift up and in as much as you want. I would not lift above the level of the shoulder. I wouldn't be up here. You just aggravate any injuries that you've ever had. The rotator cuff gets really unhappy with that. So arms pressed out, shoulder blades together, little tiny presses. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, widen a little. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, widen a little. Chest pops out, shoulder blades together. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Turn them over, lean it forward, kick them out back. Make sure that y'all can see me right. All right, lift them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's 80 of them. Turn the back side, uh, like flip it so that one end of the bell is toward the ceiling or one end of the soup can. Here we go. 20 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. <sighs> So that last little one where we turned the end of the bell up, that really pulls our shoulder blades closer together. It really contracts that rhomboid muscle, pulls those wingtips in and really just pulls and pulls and pulls. That constant contraction is what then pulls on the bones and helps us fight the osteoporosis in the thoracic. We need that. <sighs> So for those of us that have picked up on our caffeine consumption, because we're out of routine, caffeine kind of pulls that calcium away from the bones. We need to be real mindful. We're really working those bones. All right. We got the light weights. You can put one down if you want to. We're going to step wide, plant the feet, 
Elbow either on top if you need a gentle version or the back of that arm presses into the inside of that thigh. We drop that hand down. If this weight isn't enough, you could always take two and roll it up from there. We got 10 bicep curls. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, and one. Let it hang for just a moment. These are called concentration curls. Roll it up nice and safe and then switch sides. Plant the hand, elbow on top, elbow inside. Let the arm hang heavy first. Press the elbow in, then roll it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, a four, three, two, and one. Let it hang and then slide it up and in. We've got a light in each hand. Walk those ankles in together, lean it forward. We've got those triceps to do so our wings are gonna come up behind us, shoulder blades come together, and then we're gonna press them out back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now hold it up and give it a constant squeeze. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring it in. Very nice. Drop those in the lap. Roll the shoulders. The body's starting to come along for the ride. There we go. Yep. Shaking it off. Shaking out the dust. Oh, the cabby webbies. Oh. Give yourself a little bit of a hug, maybe twist and twist and twist and twist and put those down. All right. Now we're going to go for a little support because the weights are going to be heavier. A little support. It's going to be a little heavier. We've got biceps and we've got triceps and we have a little set of hundreds to do. So if this weight is gonna to be too heavy for you, we've got a, your lighter weight set and that's perfectly fine. Whew. All right, we ready for circles? Palms are forward, slightly out in an angle. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. End up, end up. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You should really feel those shoulders moving within the joints, okay? Other direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let it rest. We got 20 more because that was 80. Breathing it. Okay. We've got 10 and 10. So we're going to reach that right arm straight forward. Little circles, 10 of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Put it down. Breathe. No holding your breath during these. Left arm, circles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it in. Yes. So if you did all of those, high five. If you did some of those, high five. 
gosh, if you did two of those, yes, that was more than you did yesterday. Bam. All right. <laughs> Okie dokie. So feet step wide. We've got concentration curls to do. So I've got a set of fives. If I decide this isn't enough weight for me, I can double these up or I can do this and a lightweight. Ooh. All right. So I'm going to make sure that I'm not going to slide out of my chair. The elbows are going to be on the top. We got the right hand. We drop it down. We get 10 bicep curls. Are we ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, let it hang, let that bicep find its maximum length. Then the elbow comes up, the body slides, we switch hands, make sure the crossing is comfortable. If you've got two weights in the same hand, make sure it's comfortable for your wrist. Right hand, left elbow, nice and long at first, then roll it up. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Pull it up and in. Walk the feet together. Okay. Two choices. You can thumbs on your jet pack, lean forward, extend them back, or you can press them together press up overhead and drop these right down behind where your ponytail would be. And if you don't have a ponytail, okay, pretend you do. Shake it, shake it around. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna drop mine behind my head. Here we go, press them up. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, find a smile. Five, four, three, two, one. Slide them down. <sighs> well played. Nicely done. Okay. So that's our medium set. We have a third set in our ladder sets. So if you need to take two weights and put them together, Perfect. If you need to step down, step down. There's no harm in that. None at all. I personally want bigger muscles. So I'm going to pick up a heavier weight. I am probably going to have to help my hand in order to get my muscles used to this again, but you'll see how that works. You see it in gyms all the time. It's just how we kind of strengthen up over time. And then if you need to step down, please do. Okay. So I've got my right elbow. It's coming down inside my right thigh. We don't have a set of hundreds with these because if you're going heavy, that would be detrimental. And the elbow plugs in heavy, nice and nice and heavy at first as I mix my words up and then roll it up. One, two, three, four, five, Five, four, ooh, three, ooh, come on, two, and one. Ooh, nice. Slide it up, switch it, take a breath. Anytime you need water, you make sure you go get some, please. I said please. All right, elbow comes down and in. Let it be heavy at first. Press that elbow in. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, five, ooh, four, three, two. Oh, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it. One, whoo, whew. Pull that up and in. Very nice. The biggest thing we want to make sure though, we're not rounding when we do these exercises. Ex exercises. If you feel your ribs are coming closer and closer to your hip bones, know that you're starting to round and you're starting to collapse. The biggest thing that that does 
is it squishes your diaphragm muscle. So therefore you can't breathe as deeply. So I want to pick up out of it so that my diaphragm muscle has full range of movement. So when I'm leaning forward like that, I can still have my diaphragm muscle moving the way it needs to. All right, here we go. If you need to lean forward and do the presses behind you, those little jobbies, grab something a little lighter. These, we're gonna press up and drop the knuckles back. Here we go. We're gonna slide it down and press them up. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, last one. Bring it down and in. Okay, so, whew, nice. What we're gonna do now is we've finished our ladder sets, we've had our cardio set, and we're gonna move into a slight chest set. If you want to add the abdominal work, you add it. You don't because it might not be good for your low back or you're just checking this all out, then don't do it. You could always do single legs. You'll see what I mean. You can do double legs. You can scowl at me all you want. <laughs> Shoulder blades make good contact with the chair. If you've got a chair with a really high back, just you might not want to lean back as far because otherwise it's going to take your head and push it forward. So make sure you're nice and comfy. The first set, I'm going to leave my feet on the floor. I'm going to push my fingertips straight up to the ceiling. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, last one. Beautiful, nice. So what we're doing is we're working the front head of the delt, we're working the pectoralis minor, we're getting into supraspinatus muscle, we're getting into a lot of this uh, attachment muscle, what I call the trip and fall muscles. So if I were to trip and fall, the thing that I'm gonna do naturally is put my arm out and I'm gonna try to stop the rate of my fall by my hand hitting the ground first and using my arm as a spring or a shock absorber. Now here's the issue. My muscles don't take the weight of my body properly and then doo -doo -doo -doo, injury happens. So when I build all of this up, if I were to trip and fall, I throw my hands out. Yeah, I might be aching the next day, but I'm probably gonna be relatively safe. So we work these. That's one of the things we do as we get older. We really concentrate on the parts of the body that help me wanna have incidents. All right, we got another set. Here's the thing. I wanna lift one leg and press, and press, and press, and press, I can do that. I want to take both feet and lift them and just hold them there, can do that too. So I'm going to keep my feet here and I've got 10 pushes all the way up. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, last one. Bring it down, feet come down, lift it forward, and then elbows to thighs, just to stretch out that low back. Because if you were lifting the legs, you were using your hip flexors, and they pull on the low back. Just breathe. Very nicely done. We have one more set of the chest presses to do. So we're gonna roll up, however, single set. So it's actually two sets, but if you talk to my husband, because it's one side and then the other side, it's still one set. And he'll tell me to do 10. And see, he says 10 and one and two. <laughs> it's semantics. <laughs> it's a method. <laughs> so it is one set and it's two sets and it's 10 and it's 20. Just go with it. It's gonna be great. So if you wanna do this with raised legs, I would suggest interlocking the ankles. I would take 
your opposite hand and lift it up. I'm not going to de designate which arm you use first. We're going to press this straight up. One, two, three. Be mindful of the face. Five, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Pew. Nice. So if you need to lean forward, stretch the low back. Beautiful. We're just going to give this muscle set a little bit of time to relax. We're going to get up our heart rate just a second to come down. If that weight was too heavy, we have other choices or just do the abs and leave the arms alone. All right. Opposite ankle crosses. Uh -huh. Do you remember which one? Here we go. Press it up. One, two, three, four. Keep that elbow in. Five. It protects that rotator cuff. Seven, three, two, one. Nice. You guys are stupendous. Do you feel stupendous? I hope you feel stupendous. <sighs> Lovely. All right. Into the abdominals for real we go. Creep to the edge of the chair. I'll make sure my feet are still in the frame since that was a problem the other day. <sighs> All right. Change has happened, right? I've had to make the adjustment. I am used to doing this in person and and getting it right, getting it wrong, laughing, singing, and, oh, <laughs> now it's video. Here we go. Hang on to the side of the chair. If you want to hover both legs and do these, you can. I'm going to keep my heels on the floor, and I'm going to lift one at a time, okay? So I'm going to start counting now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. So then we're going to slide from here to here. I'm going to bring my elbows up and touch right behind my ears. And then I'm going to tap each knee or act like it. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, and hold. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Slide it up, put it together, and then drop one shoulder and the other. Drop one shoulder and the other. Very nicely done. All right, so one more into the core we go before we sign off. We're going to go into the waistline. You can choose no weight, lightweight, medium weight, or heavy weight. It's up to you. I'm going to choose one heavy weight. Okay. Put my feet together and then make sure that they're balanced so that I'm not going to topple out of my chair. I'm going to move to the edge. I'm going to take my opposite fingertips behind my ear, not grabbing the back of my head. I'm going to breathe and then I'm going to drop to that one side 10 times. One, two, Three, you feeling those obliques grabbing on right down here? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Switch. Boom. Fingertips. Fingertips. Make sure you don't catch your knuckles on the side of the chair. Let's scoot to the side. This chair is wider than the ones we normally use. Here we go. One, get into those obliques right here. Two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it into the lap. <sighs> yes. We're not done yet. <laughs> we have one more set on either side. Fingertips, original side, oblique muscles, hold on through the abs so we don't start stretching forward or rounding. We don't want to squish our breathing apparatus. Here we go. Pull, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one with a smile, bring it across, opposite side, last ones, and then we're stretching it out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it into the center, put it down. Now this could be your favorite part. This could be your least favorite part. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to stretch across the chest, take one arm across, and then the forearm or the wrist of the other one pulls in right behind that elbow. If it doesn't go that far, maybe just give it a little tug and pull. Nobody is expected to use heavy weights. Nobody's expected to do more than what you would normally do. <sighs> then that same hand is going to travel up and over. We're going to pull up through those ribs and breathe fully into those intercostal spaces between those ribs. <sighs> Opposite side. Pull it out and in. Oop, don't want to smoosh the mic. There we go. So this is pulling on all those shoulder muscles and it's pulling that scapula away from the spine. Stretching through the rhomboids. Breathing in. And out. Elbow up and over. If this isn't safe for your shoulders, find something else that you like to do better. If you've never done any of this better or differently, or you do other things instead because you like them, do that instead. If it's your first time, Congratulations. I hope you feel like you have a, I have, you've done a great job. Breathe in and release. And this is what people consider the hardest part. So right ankle, left thigh. If it took 16 movements to get it there, awesome. If it gets there and there's pain, come down, come down, come down, come down, and then lean in. Here we go. Oh yeah, the communal groan. I haven't forgotten it. <laughs> oh, hips can, well, Shakira did a whole song about it. Hips don't lie. They just don't. Breathe it in. Breathe it out. And roll it up. Ooh, pull that in. Rotate that ankle. Oh, mine's got Rice Krispies in it. It's saying snap, crackle, pop. <laughs> Breathing it in. Exhale, put it down. Let that body have a moment. And then opposite side. Oh, this one always tells me really weird stories. And when you're ready. You lean it in. Now you're trying to take your heart over the center down here because if you're sneaking in, you're trying to get away from something or if you're sneaking over, this is the way to go if you want to get the QL muscle, the quadratus lumborum back here, and you want to get the hip. So you go in toward the ankles. Next time you breathe in, we're going to roll up, grab that shin, pull it up and in, rotate that ankle. Oh, yes, crepitus, the word they use to describe sounds in the body that have no explanation. <laughs> C 
crunch, crunch. And then breathe, release. Feet go wide, a couple of chest circles. Really squeeze the juice out of them. Get the neck a little involved if that would feel good. And then the opposite direction. Yes, Lord, it feels so good to move. We've been getting exercise in all different kinds of ways. Like I said, it's paddleboard season, so we've been paddleboarding. We've been hiking in the woods. We've been walking. Roll it up. So I hope that whatever you are doing, you're enjoying it. You're, you're like it's squeezing the juice out of this situation. And everything is going to change. And we evolve. This is a perfect time to evolve. I love you. You are superstars. If it was your first time, double high five. If you've done this with me a lot, give me the Arnold Schwarzenegger muscles. Yes. <laughs> See you guys.